Feels like a mile no looking back, looking forward, so far ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know what what was your name? Dabney Montgomery. Dabney Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and sir, what's your what's your name? I can only get one, but I'm about to get one. What? Red. D four. D four. Okay. Okay. And, and what did you gentlemen do in the um? We were ground crew. Okay. Uh, how you guys feel about all this excitement? Wonderful. 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 Long overdue? My college called me and said that I finished there in 1949. Okay. 62 years ago. They called me and said they had brought out the whole people tonight. An older student got to go. Okay. In Charles Mary, North Carolina. Okay. Johnson C. Smith had done the same thing. Clinton College in South Carolina had done the same thing. Mohawk had done the same thing. So it's a That's boom, beautiful. Boom it too. Beautiful. Psych it too. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, have you seen the movie yet? Well, this is be my sixth or seventh time. I have seen it. Yeah. I, I, and does it? It's authentic. It is authentic. <laughs> now, do you reside here in New York now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you see, on 136, that's oh. only okay. 10 blocks. Okay. 50 some years. Okay. 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 He's been here, he was born here. Okay. He's in real estate. 93 years old. He's 93. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 89. Wow, God bless you, man. All of the original are in that 89, 90 year old rap. when he walked from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery, 53 miles. It was a 20 to 25 of us, and we were given orders to be completely non-violent. If we saw someone uh, raising a gun close by, we were to push him to the ground and fall on top of him. And if we were a distance, let us say 100 feet or uh, 200 feet away, we was to rush to the gun hand and take that barrel, point it to the sky, and yell, assassin, assassin, and the others would come and help. But we were fortunate none of that happened. But we were ready in case it happened. Unfortunate, a lot of red nakes came into the mall. And we were aware of this. And we were ready for them in a non-violent way. Let me ask you, we just celebrated uh, Martin Luther King's birthday. Yes, 
birthday. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Let us know a little bit of how you felt about the life and legacy and the vision and the dream of Martin Luther King and what he tried to do for the country. Yes. I felt great. When I was in Boston, studying ballet, he was there getting his PhD. And we had the same God, mother. So I knew him when he was a student. I met him through my godmother and his godmother, the same person. And um, he was always a strong young man, ded dedicated to an idea. And you can look at him too. That young man is going to say something and do something to the world. I got an invitation to that wedding. And you know, I lost that invitation. If I had known he was going to be famous, I would have kept that invitation. <laughs> yes, uh, it was a fascinating experience with him. But uh, here with the Tuskegee Airmen, you had a different type of mindset. Yes. Uh, I, I will fight. I will fight. I will fight. That was the idea. Yes. In spite of what they told us in the memo dated 1925, the black man didn't have a mind to stand up and fight. He didn't have that discipline. And we said within ourselves and aloud, we will fight. We will fight. The German was shooting bullets at us this long, and they could shoot 100 of these per minute. This long, when that thing exploded, it could bring down a plane. But we said, we will fight. We will fight. One week ago today, now, right now, we were in the White House. And President Obama came in, and we thought he would come in very stiff. And I am the commander. I command all of you fellas. He came in the moment he opened the door with 15 uh, security guards. He said, fight. Fight, fight, I will fight, fight. And all of us, 90 years old and older, sitting down in the chair, we jumped up and we started yelling to We will fight, we, we will, will fight. fight. We, and that's how he came into us one week ago, right now. And what an experience that was. I'll never forget that too. How do you feel about all of the things that we've been through uh, in this country to now have the African-American president, such as President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. The job is half done. Mm -hmm. We have got to work twice as hard. Yes. So many of us say, well, we got a black president, I can let no, you have to wait twice as hard. Yes. Uh, there is that group that plan to block him. I don't care what he does. The Tea Party, those extreme Republicans, they are out to sink the ship just to get the captain. They rather see the country fall yes. just to get him. Yes. And he is saying, as he said to us, I will fight. I will yes. fight. I will fight. Mm. I will fight. Yes. yes. And yes. Let, me, let me, last question I wanted to ask yes. you. Yes. What message, as you see TV and you see a lot of the generation today, uh -huh. what message would you, do you send to the young people out there? Uh, education. Education. <laughs> through God. Education through God. Because if you get the education and get on the track of I got mine, now you get yours, that ain't God. But if you get your education, your PhD, your MD, whatever skill you can acquire and say, I'm going to help my fellow man, I'm going to bring him up with me, that's God. Mm, that's God. And this is what we tell all the kids. Just give them your name one more time. Dabney in Montgomery. I think you have a car. Yes. And Mr. Montgomery, I want to say, Roger, that. This is James Hodge. Don't touch that dial. Keep it right there. We're live at the premiere of Red Tails, and it's awesome. The movie is sold out. There's still people in the hallway. There's people outside. Thank God that this historical, just a piece, it, it tells just a piece of the story. But I am so honored 
And I thank God to be a part and be standing right next to history. I thank God. And I thank God for each and every one of you that are tuned in and watching. On Touch That Dial, I'm here with Mr. Montgomery, one of the original Tuskegee. Everybody.